Okay, for our stress test, our dino will be run over, drowned, hit by a hammer, cut in half, and melted. Do not try this at home, guys. Okay, guys, I am I'm super excited here. I do have the Dino Rivals Roarivore's Metricanthosaurus, but I have already reviewed this, but now I bought another one. What we're gonna do is endurance testing. So I'm gonna drown this guy. I'm gonna put him underwater for 24 hours. We'll take a look at what he looks at. He's gonna get hit with the giant hammer multiple times. He's gonna get run over by a car, cut in half by a saw, and then melted with the torch. Just to see how tough the materials are. You guys on board? Let's get going. So our first test, here is the pitcher of water. We're gonna go ahead and submerge him for 24 hours. Oh, he's not liking that! Oh, no! Okay, now he will be submerged for 24 hours. This is water, guys. I mean, this is not a trick. He's going to be submerged there for 24 hours, and then we will check out what happened. Okay, so here is our Metricanthosaurus after spending a day underwater. Let's go ahead and check her out. So that is the first of our stress test. She looks pretty much the same. I mean, no color fading or anything. Of course, no more, no more sounds because the electronics would be shot. But other than being wet, I mean, she's not even holding water inside. So other than the sound not working, she has passed the water test cool and our next stress test is being hit by a giant hammer so she's holding up pretty well there too okay so she passes that stress test and she's still able to stand, except... Ah! Ah! Nope, she's still fine. So, she passes that stress test. I mean, definitely a tough toy for tough kids. Okay, and our next stress test is the car tire. Okay, did she survive the car tire? I'm seeing some scrapes here, some scrapes there, but other than that, she is fine. Check that out. She still stands, her jaw still moves, I mean that tire ran right over her and she is still fine. Okay, moving on to the next stress test. Okay, our Metricanthosaurus is tough. She's been underwater for a day. She's been hit by a giant hammer multiple times and run over by a car. The only thing I see is some scratches here. Some scratches over there. Uh, her mouth is still working. Of course, no sound because she was underwater. Arms still work, legs still work. Everything still works and she can still stand. In fact, She's standing better now than she did before she was run over by the car. <laughs> Oops, maybe not. No, she still is. She's easier to stand up than before. Okay, but our next stress test is not a good one. 
we're going to go ahead and cut the dyno down the middle so you can check out the innards. Okay, then our next test is going to be the saw test. Okay, so our Metricanthosaurus really does have a split personality. And that is what the innards of the Metricanthosaurus look like. So that's the innards. This is the outside, cool. And here's the other half. You can see here where the wiring and everything. I actually took out the battery compartment. I don't want any exploding batteries or anything, but Metricanthosaurus inside, outside. Okay, now this guy has a real split personality. <laughs> okay, so now we gotta find a way to put him back together. Okay, so now I have to find a way to put this guy back together. And for that, I'm going to use my trusty Brad Nailer. So let's try this out. Okay, and there is our dyno nailed together. And on the other side, it looks about as good as Hasbro's Jurassic World dinos. You only see a few little nail pops, no big deal. Okay, so that's starting to look more like Hasbro's. Like I said, a few little nail pops here and there. It's fine. So our Metricanthosaurus is still standing. A few pop holes here and there, a few little screw holes. Ah, we're close enough, aren't we? Okay, and for our final test, we will see what happens when the Metricanthosaurus comes in contact with a thousand degree torch. Okay, and this is what happens when your dino comes in contact with a thousand degree Time to start our stopwatch. And we are off. Ah, he's got all blackened. Actually, that looks kind of cool. Look at him. <laughs> Yes. Yeah. 
address today. His leg's still standing. In the middle of all that. Oh, there goes his tail. And he survived for two minutes. That's what happens when our dinos come in contact with Godzilla. Poor dino. He didn't have a chance. Oh, he survives. He rises from the ashes. Just kidding, guys. But guys, now you can tell Mattel dinos are not only cool looking, they stand, but they're tough. The Metricanthosaur has got drowned in water for a day. He got hit by a hammer multiple times. He got ran over by a car. He got cut in half by a saw. And he got melted by a thousand degree heat. And yet he stands. Wow, that's pretty cool. Click the subscribe button below for a lot more fun video. Also, click the bell button to be notified every time I make a new video. Click the boxes below for a lot more fun videos. And if you want to see even more, go ahead and click the subscribe button.